instead of spending money on another 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 course of learning how to do Instagram stories and how to do LinkedIn stories and whatever else, spend money and time on your subconscious programming. Hi everyone, it's Gul Khan here, your money mindset expert, and I help entrepreneurs to break free from the limiting beliefs, to reverse their money shame, and to blast through the money blocks, so that they can live a life of a limited abundance. And I'm popping in here and I thought, let's talk about something which is really, really important. A lot of people get hung up in, on on things that happen in their lives and things that are not going well. And when people talk about their, um, you know, their experiences and what's going on in their lives and, you know, this happened and that happened. And you feel like you have the talents and abilities, but you're always chasing your tail. And then, then this new thing came up, you know, when The Secret was released about 10 odd years ago in, in 2008. A lot of people are saying, well, hang on a minute, The Secret talks about this law of attraction, but I can't get it to work, so it doesn't really work and so forth. Or you know, there must be something wrong with me, or if everybody else can make it work, why can't I get this, you know, law of attraction to work? What's wrong with me specifically and so forth. Now. I, you know, first of all, I want to clarify this. The law of attraction is working all the time. Okay, it does exist. That's one thing I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to the movie The Secret and Rhonda Byrne, the fact that you know she has introduced this thing, this concept of law of attraction to the world, and you know it's made it became a mass knowledge and everybody became aware of some, some, something called the law of attraction, which is perfect. So that was the case, you know that that's that's wonderful. Yet uh, what was missing from there was the missing piece because you know the, the, it just talks about uh, you know the law of attraction, but it doesn't ex explain how to get it or what can stop you on the way. It I mean the unfortunately most people walk away from the movie the secret and think oh if i um you know if i start thinking about certain things if i just think about positively then all these things are magically going to fall into my lap okay the idea that was given in, in the movie was you go away think about something and oh, the universe will deliver it to your door like the magic the bike right um i'm not uh, saying that that you know that um you know that that doesn't happen but it, the way it happens and the way to attain that bike is is very, very different there's a lot of things in the way if you are in your if you are in your in your in your life where you're you know you're doing everything right you're doing the positive thinking you're you're trying to move forward especially as an online entrepreneur and you, you're taking one step forward and 10 steps back i'm here to tell you that that's not necessarily your fault now we we get we we love the idea of hustle 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 and you know people like gary v have come and say hustle 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 and we we think okay we, that's what we should be doing if i'm not attaining the results if i have if i don't have the results in my life if i don't have the kind of money in my life then i need to go away and you know hustle more and do more work and i'm here to tell you that actually that's not the case okay you don't you, there's only so much time and effort that you have that you can put into something and there's only one of you and if you burn yourself out you're, you're gonna, not gonna you know you're not gonna benefit yourself or anybody else for that matter the point being if you are not where you are and where you, where you if you're not where you want to be but you have the desire to be then it sometimes it, it, it really is i'm here to tell you that it's maybe it's not your fault it really isn't Okay. Now that doesn't mean I'm taking responsibility away from yourself. So I do believe that everything in your life you have, you're responsible for. Okay. So there's a distinction here. Everything that's in your life at the moment that's present, you are responsible for. You have to take personal responsibility for everything that's in your life. Good, bad, ugly, everything. Okay. That's for sure. You take responsibility for everything that's in your life. But the fact that those things are existing in your life at the moment may not be your fault because there's something else that's, you know, hiding in the background. And this is where your social programming comes in. Okay, so the first thing you need to understand is, yes, you are where you are because of what you know, the energy you have and the kind of people you're attracting to life and the kind of circumstances and the energies that you are. Okay, so that's it. So it, that, that way you are responsible, but it may not be your fault because you are not responsible for your, for your subconscious programming. Remember, your subconscious programming is done between the ages of zero to seven. So if you want subconscious programming, so basically, you know, your the way you wear, the way you see things, the way you view things, the way you think, the way the world works, this is how things are, this is how I cook. So most of the things you do in your life are based on your habitual, your habits, your, your habitual things, or, you know, your habitual programming. So you dress in a certain way, you eat certain foods, you go out in certain way, you, you, know, you brush your hair in certain way, you brush your teeth in certain way. Those are called habits. Okay, that's from your programming. And the kind of lifestyle you normally have is based on how you're brought up when you were younger. Okay, if you look, if you, and if you don't believe me, look at your life right now. Most of the time, your life is very similar to that of your parents. Okay, the lifestyle you have, the kind of people you meet, the kind of life, the kind of person you are. 
because why is that now it's not because you decide one day i'm going to be just like my parents no 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 no. it's because of the programming you were given when you were a child you can't help but be who you are you can't help but live the way you are with your day-to-day life if you if you, if you can't even choose actually consciously choose or differentiate from the kind of food that you want or the kind of clothes you want to wear or the kind of lifestyle you want to lead imagine your thoughts which are even more subconsciously controlled okay and if that's the case your day-to-day thinking your day-to-day behavior is actually controlled by your subconscious mind right and if that's the case then if you are not responsible for yourself you know your subconscious programming initially initial subconscious programming i should say you are not responsible for your initial subconscious programming that is done between the ages of zero to seven by your primary caregivers be your mom and dad grandparents uncle aunts whoever was there present at the time if that's the case that means everything that's happening in your life until now until you became aware of this fact is not your fault okay what you're attracting to your life is not your fault how crappy things are at the moment is not your fault okay really really important to understand that concept i'm not saying to negate responsibility i'm coming on to that so hold on a minute hold on a minute i'll come on to the bit but for the time being understand how your life is what things are going on and how you are behaving and how things are coming to you and how why you're not getting able to gain the law of attraction to work for you may not be your fault at the moment okay now that we, and, and and there's no saying that when the student's ready the teacher appears so if you are, have been struggling with manifesting your life correctly if you have been struggling with getting law of attraction to work if you're not working out why was money not coming i'm doing the work i'm doing everything and money's still not coming why isn't it here and if you're if you're being told by people like gary v and others that it's your fault it's your fault you know you should be doing something more then i'm here to tell you no it's not your fault okay not your fault at the moment i am not saying that not to do something i'm going to give you a, a pathway in a bit but for the time being let yourself off the hook give yourself a break give yourself a break you are doing the best you can you have a certain life you've been given a certain um it's like an airplane if you've been programmed to work in a certain way you can't work any other way until somebody comes along someone like me comes along and says hang on a minute your programming is wrong let me fix your programming you're programmed to go to uh, to uh, dubai you need to go to new york let me change your programming let me send you to new york see what i mean okay it's changing that programming so if you are at the moment trying to go to new york but in new york we keep going to, to dubai um nothing can be wrong with the baby i love the baby by the way so i'm just <laughs> give us an example then there is you have to address something deeper within Okay, and there's a there's new word uh, word uh, buzzword at the moment mindset mindset. I mean, I call myself a money mindset expert. Okay, and I normally introduce myself as that, but it could mean, but that but when I when I my money mindset is a, is an umbrella for everything I do, and I what I work is on on your energy blocks and your subconscious programming. So the way I address your 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 you know the way how you do things is actually let me think about it. let me see who you are let me look at you in totality and see here okay, what have you programmed to do. If you are programmed to behave in a certain way, to have a certain amount of money, to have a certain kind of lifestyle, it requires a reprogramming of your subconscious mind in order for you to change. Otherwise, it's going to require a lot of willpower, a lot of hard work for you to change by yourself. This is where a coach comes in. This is where a mentor comes in. This is where maybe a, maybe a program comes in. Okay, if you've been trying sitting in a room doing your affirmations and sitting doing vision boards and sitting thinking why the hell has my vision board appeared and why am I not manifesting the things I need, this could be the reason because when money for money to flow to you, if I give you an example, money is like a river, it's flowing through you. Remember, money doesn't come to you. Doesn't if you try to hold on to money, it won't stay with you. Money flows through you. Okay, money is flowing through you. If that's the case, your energy blocks are like these massive rocks. And if you put these massive rocks in the river, what's going to happen? It's going to slow down the flow of river. If and, and, and if the rock is big enough, what will do? What, what water will do? Because normally, what water does, okay? It finds the easiest way to flow forward. So it will do. It'll flow around it, or it will find an alternative route to flow down through. Money is the same way. Money needs to flow through you, okay? And if you have these massive energy blocks in your energy field, which are blocking the flow of money, what will money do? It will find an alternative, easier route. Simple as that. Simple as that. Okay. So your is your now. This is where your personal responsibility comes in. I what's happened up until now in life, it may not be your fault because of your subconscious programming. But from this day forward, what happens is your responsibility. Is your is your it's up to you to work out what to do, what's going on, what are your blocks, what are your rocks that you place in your flow, in river flow that you can remove now so that more money flows to you easily and effortlessly. Okay, this is your responsibilities, and this is where I would say, okay, hang on a minute, stop hustling. 
right? I don't believe in hustling, by the way. Stop hustling for a moment and take a step back and think, okay, what is it that I, you know, what have I been programmed to think about money? How do I view money? How, what kind of a relationship do I have money? When most people when I say to people, okay, so how do you see money? Oh, I love money. I want more of it. Okay, people say that to me. But when I actually dig deep and, okay, and look at their social, their social and their subconscious you know, internal you know, you know, programming, especially the earliest money paradigm, the parents struggled with money. The parents didn't have much. They, they had um, and they, they had the idea that money is the root of all evil or um, you know, money doesn't make you rich or people, are, people who are rich are corrupt. These sort of beliefs are ingrained into the internal, you know, into the money paradigm. So the way they view money is in a very negative way. If subconsciously you are repelling money and consciously you're attracting, you're trying to attract money, your subconscious will always will. Let me repeat that. That's super powerful. If you're consciously attracting money and subconsciously repelling money, your subconscious will always, always win. Why? Because your subconscious is like it, it controls 95% of everything that happens in your life. It's like an airplane and a pilot. Okay. Between the airplane and the pilot, even though the pilot can dictate where the airplane can go, it can reprogram the airplane. The, the pilot himself cannot take the airplane anyway. It has to go in and reprogram the airplane and make the airplane go. Otherwise, the airplane is super, super powerful. It's going to have its own mind. It's going to go. If, it's, if the airplane's programmed to go to Dubai, the, air, the pilot, unless he and, uh, reprograms the, 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 the airplane and knows how to navigate the controls, so you know, it, can, it can control the airplane, the airplane is if it's on autopilot will go to the way okay if you want it to go to new york you have to reprogram and actually take a, uh, take hold of the controls and gear it there that's taking hold of the controls is using your, your willpower your your conscious mind reprogramming part is reprogramming your subconscious mind you see that you see that you see the comparison you see how this works okay this is super super powerful metaphor for you to understand how your brain works Taking the controls and taking hold of, of the knobs and whatever is the conscious control of your thoughts, ideas, and beliefs. And reprogramming, which is a super, super powerful part, is where you go and you reprogram your subconscious mind. Have this metaphor in mind and understand this is what's gonna, this is what's stopping you. Not you, you don't, if you are programmed and if you can, if you can program yourself to go towards um, um, New York, it's gonna be that much easier. Okay, and on the way you help help. You know the wind will pick up and everything else. And I don't know how navigation works, but I'm just giving the metaphor, right? You you go you end up in, in, in New York a lot quicker, all right? And this is where you need to it, work out. Okay, so this is where I am. This is where it is because if you are if you're if you're programmed to not make money, if you're programmed to stay where you are, if you're programmed to repel money, you can hustle, hustle, hustle. You can be doing things. And what you'll do is you'll bring money in, you lose money. You'll attract money, you lose money. You cause self-sabotage. You will sabotage your efforts and your business and everything's around you to make sure you stay in this little box that you're programmed to be in. For you to break free from the box, you don't have to work on the box. You don't have to break the doors down for the box. You have to reprogram your mind to allow you to be safe. Now, I've, I'm going to share something very, very personal to you. Until recently, um, <coughs> not long ago, I, I, was, I, I could attract money. I could attract a lot of money, but I wasn't able to keep money. And I couldn't figure out why. I, 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 and I remember thinking, I'm, I'm so good at money. I'm, I, I attract money and do this, whatever, whatever. And I have my, the, the five bank accounts and they work very, very well for me and my clients as well. But when it, apart from, when it goes past a certain amount of money, I would always cause a self-sabotage. I would lose money. I'll make a poor investment. Something will happen that my money would dwindle. I would not work out what the hell, you know, what the hell was going on. Then I figured out why. But in my, by the way, let me pause, take a pause here for a moment. You are your you you not only have your own subconscious program, you have the subconscious programming of your parents, of your grandparents, of your great great grandparents. This is called epigenetics. Okay, your 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 genome has the programming all from generations back. This is so powerful to understand. Epigenetics is a real thing, guys. You you are programmed not with your own programming that you got from your parents, but also the programming you, your your grandparents gave to your grand your your parents and their grandparents. So you you know, you've got all these generations worth of programming going through your your subconscious field, right? So this is something to really really keep in mind. So you have to clear all of that. This is a year on year on year, and generation upon generation upon generation of subconscious program which just layers upon. And which is holding you back from actually going in and having the wealth and the kind of um, um, prosperity that's, that's open to you. Okay, so I realized 
that I had this really big fear of money. Why? Because my great my great grandfather and my mum not grandfather my mum uh, my grandfather so my mum's dad my mum's biological father he was uh, somebody who was uh, you know who was a self made billionaire at the time and he was extremely rich but guess what um, when he was in his I think um, in in his prime he had five daughters my mum was one of five daughters he had five daughters and. Um, when around the partition time so india and india and pakistan was made so this around partition time around, around 1947 he had a big chunk of business in hoshiarpur he had a big chunk of business in uh, the pakistan part sahibal as well and during the partition what he did he shifted his family before but before the partition happened because he's in politics and knew everything oh, no, he, knew, he knew what was going on so he shifted his money from uh, uh, his family not money his family from hoshiarpur to sahibal anyway but majority part of the business was in hoshiarpur okay still keep that in mind First of all, what happened to him was not only did he lose his business and, and, and money that's in Hoshiarpur, the, the India part, okay, which is a lot of people lost money in that time. He had still had tons of money in the Pakistan part as well. But um, what happened was during that partition stage, he was murdered by his own cousins for the money. He's, you know, and his widow, my my grandmother, was left with five daughters, and literally she was uneducated. She did not, you know, females weren't educated at the time. She didn't know what was going on. They took everything. His cousins murdered him and took everything. Okay, so this I had I didn't, I didn't realize that this had been playing my part. So in my it, through with genetics, this was to be passed on to my mother, and through my mother, it was passed on to me, and I hadn't recognized it because until now, I had not encountered an incident where. I would be uh, afraid of money. Why would I be afraid of money? And I was. I every time I thought about having money, I thought I could die or my children would die. I kid you not. And I couldn't figure out where this belief or this thought was coming from. Then <coughs> is when I was doing this work with somebody. And I yes, I have to work on myself too. And yes, I have my own mentors and yes, I have my own coaches. Absolutely you do because you can't you a doctor cannot operate on themselves, okay? That's when I realized speaking to my coach Oh, holy. This is where their fear is coming from. Why am I afraid of having money? Because I, you know, I honestly believe I can't, I, I couldn't shake that feeling off that if I have money, someone's going to kidnap me. Someone's going to keep my kids. Someone's going to come and murder me. And it wasn't, it wasn't money. It was above some amounts. If I, if people began to realize that I had a million pounds in my bank, my kids would be kidnapped. I will be kidnapped. I will be murdered. Somebody will murder me. Somebody will hurt me. I was afraid and I didn't even know why. And then when after doing this work on epigenetics, I realized, oh my gosh, this is where this is coming from. My God, it was my mother's memory of my father. My mother was only five, by the way, when my father, my grandfather was killed. So it was actually, um, but it was subconsciously she picked everything else. She learned it. And my grandfather's incident, which passed on to my mother, which was passed on to me, which passed on this fear of having money. And only when I was able to conquer that, I thought, oh my God, um, you know, now obviously I, I still haven't got the kind of money that I want, but I can see it coming and staying in my field now. But I had to address it. Now I'm really good with money. By the way, guys, I'm very good with money. I'm a money mindset expert, and my clients get amazing results. I get amazing money coming to me, and I had this block, and I had to address it and work out what was going on. How did I get this? Yeah. So this is where um, I want you to understand that where you are right now, if you know where you want to be, it may not be your fault okay it may be a subconscious programming it may be a programming that you've inherited from your generations past okay you apparently epigenetics has now has a you know they've, they've gone and they looked into it and apparently you can carry up to 10 generations of your so 10 generations back you can carry on their energies you can carry on their memories you carry their their energetic blocks it's it's just opened up a whole new bundle of things that this is the kind of thing you need to be working on it's it's not just your memories it's not just your programming because you are remember you as a, a, the dna that you have which comes from your mom and dad has all the information it needs from all the generations back yeah only tiny amount makes you who you are rest of it we you know we, you know, we don't uh, you know, address so this is this is powerful stuff guys i want you to take yourself off the hook for starters for everything that's happened in your life right now say this is it salary such is life it is what it is the status quo is what it is but from this day forward let me work out what i need to change how can i change what do i actually need to change let me look address it and then change those things first change your energy around money first 
and then you find the actions you take afterwards are more productive you bring more money in you bring more opportunities to yourself you bring more things to yourself and everything opens up to you like magic it works like magic but until unless you actually address all of this uh, you know until you address your your internal energy and box around money you kind of stuck and you don't know why you're stuck and i've given you my example i had no idea why i couldn't i could bring money in but i couldn't keep it no actually let me rephrase that i could bring money in but i couldn't keep above certain amount because I, w- I didn't feel safe around it and i couldn't work out until i addressed my um, epigenetics until i worked on my genetics i, w- I realized what it is I, um mari says this is i mean this is huge i wonder if my ancestors were their cousins because i have always had this weird fear that i became a horrible person um shyma maybe because remember your your souls connect so you and i have a real deep connection so maybe somewhere maybe possible it's quite possible it's quite possible but this is important for you to understand that i i want you to first of all take yourself off the hook you know for what everything's happened to your life until now but but then take full responsibility for your life from this day forward and say okay fine up until my life was happened is not my fault but from this day forward whatever happens and whatever i bring into my 3d world is my fault is my responsibility and i'm going to change my life and i'm going to change my response and i'm going to take responsibility for my life this is where you need to be at this is where you need to address yourself this is how you see yourself okay very very important that you take full responsibility for your life from this day forward i am all about taking personal responsibility i'm all about in, uh, personal empowerment i am not telling you to be a victim guys not at all this this life is not about making you a victim it's about giving you a break from this never ending why am i not good enough why isn't this happened this hasn't happened why is there something wrong with me i want you to stop talking like that to yourself you are amazing and you're gorgeous and you're fabulous and you're talented you can do this guys but you have to understand what's been holding you back if you've been sh- if you are shackled to your past through these memories through this dna of yours through this subconscious programming then it's going to be very hard for you to move forward it's going to be very it's going to be struggle it's going to be a lifelong struggle to move forward yet if you can change your your if you can change your subconscious programming if you can let go and break break free from these shackles from the past you can move forward with exponential growth exponential growth and there's no reason for it you have the talent you have the abilities you're you know you you're you're doing the work you're turning up on like this is so important and i you can see it on the passion in my voice this is for every single one of you who's been holding yourself back and keep thinking what's wrong with me there's nothing wrong with you it's just your frigging social you know and social and subconscious programming change that change that instead of spending money on another 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 course of learning how to do instagram stories and how to do linkedin stories and whatever else spend money and time on your subconscious programming okay and less time and effort on learning the new business venture and this new tactic and this new marketing technique or whatever else because remember when you energetically clear yourself of all this rubbish you can attract to yourself your ideal clients your ideal opportunities and make things easy you still take action i'm all about taking action but it becomes easy for you getting to the flow of taking action hey okay, guys oh, okay so i hope you enjoyed today's live see you guys very very soon